Hey, well, welcome back. Um, today in Maine, it was like getting really, really hot. It was like 92 degrees, very humid. Joni and I wanted to get out and go do something. So Joni uh, and I decided to visit the Gallon Coal Family Land Transportation Museum. This museum was built and dedicated by the Cole family uh, up here in Maine. And uh, they developed one of the most successful uh, transportation companies in the Eastern United States. They built this museum so they could record history on the honest endeavor and hard work of the pioneers who came here to Maine to develop this area way back at the turn of the century. The men and the women and their accomplishments and the equipment that they used uh, to pioneer this area is just amazing. And yes. that's what this museum's about. And this museum also displays the men and women of the military who gave up their lives uh, for freedom in prior wars. Uh, I believe it was World War II, uh, Vietnam, Korea, and of course, Purple Heart veterans, which is pretty special to me. Details coming up on RV Street. So, we are here in Bangor, Maine, and it's really hot today. They call it sticky, it's humid. And Joni found this place to go to today. It's the Land Transportation Museum. I thought we would come here because it is hot and it is humid, and I thought AC would be good. Yeah, so it's gonna cost us 12 bucks to go in and see it, it's, most of it's inside. They do have some outside displays. So come on along with us. Let's go see what's inside this place. Let's go. So the first, uh, we decided to start off just one aisle and work, go down the other. And so this one is the old fire engine aisle. I just love stuff like this. Uh, if, if I still had a house and a big old garage and just, you know, a bunch of money to squander on something, I would love to... Um, buy an old fire engine like this and restore it. I think these things are just so, so cool. It's a Mack pumper. They call it a Mack pumper. Look at the tires on that thing. Very, very, very cool. Oh, and this is a Tucker Snowcat while we're here. Main Public Service Company. And then to end this aisle, we have a 1926 Ford Model TT Snowmobile. Look at this. This is 
that is just so way cool look at these tracks down here look at that right there that is so cool love 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 that really cool seeing all of that history it really gets me how it was only like a hundred years ago I know I mean that's just so incredible yeah um, I mean, yeah I, you, you look at all this old equipment and the way they did things and muscled their way through farming and making roads and logging and all this type of stuff and you think to yourself that was only like a hundred maybe 120 years ago at the most well the other thing it's like they didn't have a home depot if they needed a tool or something they made it they yeah. created it yeah they go down to the blacksmith and say you know i need a hook <laughs> well okay well and they'll yeah. forge a hook or whatever they needed yeah. uh it, it, it was uh it was really cool i will say my one of my favorite things was the fire engines I love those old fire engines and those old popper trucks and, um, and and the milk truck. Oh, I love the milk truck. I thought that was very cool. When, when I was uh, when I was I used to stay with my aunt uh, when I was a little boy, and my aunt actually had a milk truck deliver those little six pack of bottles of milk every day or every couple. Did he of, leave it on your doorstep? He did. They really. Yeah, they just left it right there oh, on very the doorstep. Cool. There's some more stuff here to take a look at. Let's take a look.
I just love this uh, this museum. Joni, what, what were your final thoughts? I mean, your overall thoughts about this museum? Uh, really, you know, I thought, wow, it's really hard for people back then. I mean, it was really hard. I mean, these yeah. people thought they had the latest and greatest of tools, which at that point they did. Yeah. But you come to the future and see how easy things are done now okay. as opposed to then. Yeah. Uh, the blood, the sweat, the, 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 just the hard work. Their initiative just to get things done. <laughs> I know. Uh, they just plowed through it and got her done. Um, one of the things that I really enjoyed uh, and was inspired about was how well uh, the museum was organized. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was well displayed, yep. well marked, well documented. Uh, one thing I didn't like about it was that down each row of all these different things, they had the black uh, chains. Well, yeah. Yeah, um, that kind of mess with getting good photographs and video. But I understand why they do that. You have to control people uh, otherwise, they'll be climbing on stuff and what have you. So, but other than that, uh, and how much did it cost for us to get in there? I think for the both of us, it was twelve dollars. Yeah. And we get out of the heat. Oh, and here's the thing: we thought we were going into an air-conditioned building. Yeah. And we walked in, and it was nice and cool there. But we found out it's not air-conditioned, but they do have a dehumidifier in there. Yeah. And it kept it wonderful in there. Yeah. The temperature it was great. It was a nice place to go at the peak of the heat in the afternoon. It was good. It was a, it was yeah, a well worth trip. I enjoyed it. So anyway, uh, we're going to be in Maine, like we've said before, till around the middle or the end of September. We've got a lot more neat stuff coming up. Uh, some really good land shots and coast shots coming up and some exploring that we've, that we've done. So uh, be sure to lock, uh, look up for those uh, videos. Oh, and by the way, where we're shooting right now, we are in Bucksport, Maine, and right behind us is Fort Knox. Correct. Uh, we have gone there. There will be a video that we're going to show you. We went to Fort Knox a few weeks ago, uh, but it's an old uh, fort that they built like, I don't remember, like 200 years ago yeah. uh, to protect uh, the river from the English when uh, and the Brits and I don't know all what it, we got the history we'll get it right <laughs> <laughs> we hope so that's it for now this is RV Street stick around <laughs>